How did you become so knowledge and appreciative in wine? I, I didn't know you were an enophile. <laughs> I love wine. I'm a big wine fanatic, and I, 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 I sort of give advice to the people around me when they're like, you So know, you're, you are knowledgeable. Like, have you, how, do, how did you learn so much about wine? Just, uh, I love it. Well, Italian food is my favorite food. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously wine and Italian food go hand in hand. Um, and I've just been in restaurants. I've been into the restaurant business since I was very young. I always had great relationships in Toronto with like, you know, different restaurants, like whether it be like Soto Soto, or I used to go to this place called Vivoli, or this place called Sete Meso. Like I, these are my, these are my stomping grounds, you know? So while I was there, I always just felt like being knowledgeable in wine was something that like would impress older, older individuals or, you know, more established people. So. Um, I learned my reds very well. Uh, I learned my whites very well. What's and, your favorite red wine? Um, there's a, a wine called uh, Cito Moresco. It's a Gaia wine. It's very, very good. It's, it's hard to find. And there's an Italian wine called Tignanello, um, which, which me and Justin Timberlake actually, we, me and Justin Timberlake, we're going to start a wine club together at one point. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it because he's into it too. Maybe so. you can buy a winery. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah. that would be nice.